welcome back to the channel now the people are saying after the recent riveting interview done by cliff Hughes and the dpp people are saying that it is as if the dpp shifted any blame placed on her by bird samuels to the trial judge saying that it was not her decision to continue with the jury that was the trial judge's decision whether or not suggestions were made by the defense or by prosecution it was still the judge's choice now some people are saying that statement might make the appeal court decide not to retry vibes cartel and this co accused even though the dpp says her next move is to make that suggestion to the appeal court that she's already started to prepare documents to submit of course we're making a one and they will continue reasoning look and listen with the benefit of hindsight with the benefit of hindsight do you regret do you regret the submissions you made you are not going to get me there you are not going to get me well quite an interesting five minutes of vibes cartel privy council ruling continue and this morning for the first time the dpp was responding since the judgment came down last thursday morning and uh, she was asked by Tona and Ricardo about the advice she gave to the judge in the trial after it was revealed that there was an attempt to bribe the jurors. DPP, having been told that all of your jurors in 2014 had been offered a $500,000 bribe, why did you not in advise the judge that it, were probably, it was probably best? to dismiss the, the jury which was now obviously tainted you see you you are now trying to get me to discuss the matter and i told you that i didn't wish to no but certainly you this see. point dpp is important because here the law lords are saying you advised the judge that you were prepared to proceed even though you knew that the entire panel 11 jurors the four women told you had been offered bribes wouldn't that mean wouldn't that mean in your judgment dpp that the entire jury as the law lords have now found was contaminated and should well, have been terminated well, or discharged well, first of all i am not the judge we true but you gave you I gave advice that you were prepared to proceed and what i'm trying to but understand you were prepared to proceed but with why with that why why were you prepared to proceed with a jury factors. that was contaminated no 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 all the other factors that's some of which I cannot go into in terms of. So you were thinking about cost. You were thinking about how long the, the matter we had been going. Also thinking of security issues. There were a lot of other issues that we cannot go into into the public domain. And what our information from the foreman was, what she was saying, was that all of the attempts had to do with acquittal acquittal clearly if it had been the other way we would have I mean, clearly given the overriding objective of any any case which is fairness to the accused but what would have been perhaps planted in the mind of the jurors is okay you need to acquit and remember that these persons, at least two of them, are very famous. So it would have been, as far as the prosecution, when we discussed it, we would have been at the, those ones at a great disadvantage. This is not the first time. But with the greatest respect, have, DPP, that's not persuasive because what yes, we want you, what I want you to focus on, is the fact that the process now had been corrupted and contaminated, and you advised the judge that you were comfortable proceeding with a contaminated and corrupt but process. This is not the first time that I have had to deal with jury tampering. And be and that as it may, first. in the exercise of your judgment, why did you not see it fit? To bring to an end a matter that had but been corrupted after 64 days of trial isn't the interest of protecting the impartial trial greater than the length of time that had I elapsed me with you on paper but i have done other cases where there has been jury tampering to the great negative of the prosecution i have seen cases i've seen jury inquiries where 
the juror having been questioned, it was quite clear that it was either an accused person or an accused person's relative that approached the juror. And the juror was able to indicate to the court that it did not make any difference. He would still be able to have an impartial situation in his mind. I have had the experience, I've prosecuted many cases, and when asked, I have indicated that we don't have any problem. So in other words, we are prepared to take our chances and just try to make sure that you have a very powerful address. But this, this, what happened in a couple of the cases I've dealt with, didn't happen during summation. It happened before we got to summation. So I have had the experience before of jury tampering. And I have been asked before, what is my view, being the prosecutor in the matter? And even after the inquiry, it's a judgment. It's quite clear that you don't know if the juror is telling you everything about the encounter with the relative of the accused. But you are willing to take the chance nonetheless. So it has happened. I mean, both. No. Truth be told, I would, I would say these statements are disqualification given by the DPP was because of statements made by Bert Samuel saying that if the DPP is a chief prosecutor for Jamaica and there was a situation with the jury and as Bert said, suggestion was made by prosecution to continue. He was saying hence, if that is the reason why the murder conviction was quashed and overturned, how then can Jamaica move forward with a retrial with the same prosecution using the same evidence and i guess the dpp start to clarify those statements so that the people wouldn't feel like she shouldn't be the one to lead the prosecution but some are also saying this kind of make it look away from the trial judge seeing that the trial judge was a trial judge somebody who knew law previously a lawyer then became a judge how could a situation like this with the jury, you could have seen the outrage when the UK Lords of Law heard the whole fiasco with the jury. They must say, how, how this happened? This sound like you know, just a learned law. That was the way them reacted. They must say, basically, from this happened, jury for change. There is no discussion. There is no thinking about it there is no questions to be asked the decision is simple change the jury it don't look good upon the state now keep in mind here we go on one of the reasons the state said they based their decision off was the fact that this was the longest trial in jamaican judicial history and this is how or that is what pushed or led to the fiasco with the jury now if a retrial is set to begin, wouldn't that said retrial be, once again, the longest trial in Jamaican judicial history? And if not, what would be changed? Remember, a fair trial of what the people matter about. So what would be changed that would shorten the duration of said trial? And if in the initial trial, the duration of the trial was an issue for the state, will it be an issue for the state once again, seeing that now there are more high profile cases in front of the judicial system. We can't tell you the exact amount of high profile cases that was before the courts when Vibes Cartel's case was being tried. But what we can say is that right now there are numerous high profile cases, high profile cases, ex members of law enforcement, we are talking about ex elected officials. We are talking about members of, of ex-members of the US Navy. That's just to name a few. And with the budget being debated right now, is this something that the state itself is willing to take on? No, the DPP is actually ready for you to try the case. No, 
the Privy Council said they would send it back to the Court of Appeal to make that decision. Some people have said then, is the decision in the hands of the Court of Appeal or is it the, the prosecution or the prosecution's decision? Is it up to the prosecutor to then decide if prosecution will proceed with prosecuting? We don't know. The DPP says, shall I make a submission, a request to do it? Keep in mind, if the state decides not to prosecute an individual, it is normally the DPP who says the state has does not have enough to prosecute. So if she's still saying yes, the state has enough to prosecute, does not then mean that the retrial is something that will take place. We have some people on the streets that say, is this an attempt to put Vibes Cartel to another lengthy tri trial that would cost millions in defense for Vibes Cartel and his co-accused? Some say the whole Ministry of Justice is looking on this case, seeing if this retrial will be the best thing for the Jamaican judicial system. Some other lawyers have said that the fact that the UK Privy Council sent back the matter to the appeal court showed that, you know, Jamaican courts are, the, the Jamaican judicial system was capable of handling its own scenarios. But keep in mind, the Privy Council quashed the, the conviction, saying that with what took place with the jury, there could be no conviction. The Jamaican Appeal Court didn't say that. So was that overlooked by the Jamaican Appeal Court? Was it not presented? What really take place there, sir? Or could the UK Privy Council see that, cite that as a discrepancy, and say, yes, with that alone, mm -mm, no murder conviction. But if you don't want to retry, do that. How could the Jamaican Appeal Court not see that? Did they overlook it? Does that also showcase that? No. The Jamaican judicial system can get its own situation. Recently, we see elected officials, the whole traffic guru thing, bring for them case to the Privy Council as well. And going back to what that lawyer said, it was also sent back to Jamaican courts. We don't even want to talk about it again, neither still. But there's a thing we hear about it once every 50 years. Allegedly. But Talk to me. Tell me what you think. Do you think the state will be giving the privy count, um, giving the prosecution a chance to retry Vibes Cartel? Or do you think after these statements, the man said no. Leave that alone. Talk to me in the comment section. If you're new to the channel, as a pass through, click the subscribe icon and then the bell icon. And of course, put it on all. And this is how you know will be notified of all fresh content. As soon as fresh content is uploaded and made available for you, right here upon the platform. The like icon is also in close proximity to the share icon. Drop a like and bust a share. And tell a friend, tell a friend, tell them, sister and them, brother them, for check out the channel, check out the reasoning, and also join the discussion. Now, until the reason again, my sentiments for you and yours, I want to live, love, and prosper. I want to stay tuned. Until the reason again.